So we're going straight in this next game. It's gonna be uh, Snake versus Sonic. Um, Versadile made it pretty far um, in the loser's bracket after being... Oh, wait, wait, no. He made it pretty far in the winner's bracket, making it all the way to the winner's finals, then being taken out by the current person that... by the winner's finals winner, who is Yurna, a Bowser. And, uh, JX is on the loser's run of his life. JX DQ'd out of winner's round one, and he's in the loser's final. You cannot make this up. JX is... He, how many sets have you even played, JX? Like... Of course, say that after the set's over, but I need to know. Be I, I can count. Okay, I can count myself, but like the, the top eight alone is four sets, for six sets for you if you want to win the whole tournament. Uh, do you just purposely DQ to give yourself a challenge? I don't know. <laughs> One second, my music is a bit quiet. <laughs> Okay, that should be good music. Uh... So back to the game. Sonic and uh, Snake are seemingly trading hits. Um, both on 120, on 100 percent, 124 percent. So this is going pretty good so far. Noth nothing insane happening. Just them playing respect, playing slow and respectful, which like you gotta respect it. This is competitive, but uh, this is competitive. So like, can't expect them to go for the craziest shit. But, uh, Snake does take the first blood with, I, th with, I think, a uh, bomb, C4, so it is nice to see how he, he knows a bit of, of good set um, C4 setups. And the Snake is, has competed in Folk Invitation before. I'm pretty sure he was top four in last week, and now he's top four again, so he's definitely a capable of making it a top eight consistently. He definitely, he definitely earned to be in the loser's final. He after DQing, like he honestly deserves to be in the winner side of the grand final, if anything. Assuming he was able to capable of winning those games, but we don't know if he's capable of that because he didn't do it. But it's looking like he's getting a really nice hit on first Del game with 70% on his second stock before even taking any hits. But I mean that's expected because he did kill Sonic first on the first on the third on the first stock. And uh. Looking at this game, I, it's looking really good for Snake. Definitely pressure on Versadile, but this is best of five, so uh, they can trade. They they can definitely trade games. I do not think it's gonna be a three-zero. I think if anything, it's gonna be a three-two to whoever wins. So definitely gonna be close. And uh, they're just they're pretty much just trading hits now. Sonic f made a comeback, and now they're pretty much even percent. So. Not, not, nothing interesting happening still, and Sonic getting a nice F-Smash on uh, Snake, but doesn't kill. And overall, these are, these games have just been really nice to see today. Um, Sonic does get the kill on Snake, um, uh, uh, bringing him to one stock, putting the pressure on him. But then Snake immediately kills him, and like, this tournament just overall has been good. I've been able to stream, uh, like, five, not five games. I've been able to stream pretty much every single game except for like three in the top eight and two games in the group stage. So, I mean, overall, this tournament's just been amazing for me. I, I've enjoyed it a lot, and I'm hoping the people that are spectating and playing have enjoyed are enjoying it too. This is definitely one of my better. This is definitely my best tournament so far, which I've only had two, so I can't really. So that doesn't really say much. But back to the game. It's looking like the Sonic's a bit behind, um, almost at up tilt percent. Well, Snake's at a safe, is pretty safe on his percent right now, but he's just a few hits away from dying to either an edge ledge trap or just an F smash. So anything can happen. But it, Snake is doesn't doesn't have the advantage because he has more kill potential than Sonic does. Sonic's kill potential is off stage, and he does get the back here on Snake though. Just talk about how, as I'm talking about, he has no kill potential. He just kills Snake with a back air off stage, taking game one. But enough of that. We're getting straight into game two. Um, it's gonna- looking like it's gonna be, uh, same- um, same Snake and Sonic, nothing different, really. Other than possibly this stage, and the stage is gonna be Battlefield. I'm pretty sure this benefits Sonic more than it benefits Snake. But, um, Snake isn't- probably, probably isn't gonna be phased by that. Even though he's down a game. Oh, but Snake did choose this, I completely forgot he did lose his first game, so... This, he, this probably benefits him more than it benefits Sonic when I think about it. Um, Sonic almost edgeguarding Snake, but Snake does make it back to stage safely, finally. 
and it only took 30% off stage, so that didn't really uh, do much, but of course, the, it's, uh, it's about the long game. You gotta play patient in Smash. Smash isn't just immediate combos, instant death. It's it's patience. And just play smart, win, win games. Uh, now, it can just be instant death everywhere, insane combos, but... In higher game, in most high skill gameplay, there's not many that care. There's not really that many characters where that benefits them. So of course they're gonna play slow. So if there's anyone that like just doesn't understand why they're not just going for the most insane stuff, it's because there's money on the line and they want and they want to play safe. But back to the game, it's looking like they're just trading hits. And Sonic does get an SF smash. Does have the edge guard. He almost gets Snake off as he go recovers high. Snake has to recover insanely high to kill a Snake, but he finally recovers and gets the song and kills versus Dial first. So same thing that happened last game. Um, so Snake just needs to get a bit of hits on Sonic if he wants this to be a good third stock. And well, it's a good third stock no matter what because he did kill Sonic first. But if he wants it to be a really good third stock, he wants to get like 50% on Sonic, and then he's in the driver's seat pretty much the whole game. I would say. But he does die to an F Smash fairly early because Versadile is not gonna let it happen that easily. Versadile letting Snake know that you gotta work for your percent. You can't just kill me on 100% and then get away with it and get get 50, 60% on me. I'm gonna kill you as soon as you kill me. That's pretty much what he's showing off. But uh, it's looking like it's, this is game is probably very. I thought it was going to be favorable for Sonic, but it's actually looking very favorable for Snake, and honestly, I don't care because both of these characters play very lame, and now Snakes do play more respectful for most Sonics, but this Brazil is also playing very respectful for a Sonic main, so both of them are still in my mind, so I, I can't, I'm not going to be biased here. But this is looking good for Snake, he has 40% on Versadile, so... Um, he just needs to get a few combos. Um, he's almost at, so first of all, almost at up tilt percent. And once he's at up tilt percent, and, oh, he gets the C, Snake gets a C4 setup on read on Sonic, and that was an insane read knowing that Sonic would go on top platform and just placing a C4 um, ahead of time and exploding it as soon as he does that. Like, that was very good on Jake's, Jake's W side. So, yeah, Snake just needs to get a. He's on 81% too, so Sonic can't just instantly kill him. You can only kill him with a back air off ledge now, so and maybe a forward smash, so. So, like, so, showing, so Sonic doesn't really have that much kill potential, and that might be what hurt, hurts him. Now, Snake is off stage. Sonic doesn't get the edge guard, though. He does get the edge guard, never mind with the back air. Same thing that happened last time I was saying he doesn't have much kill potential, but Snake was sort of screwed right there. You know, if he gets off stage on average percent, Sonic's gonna get the back air. Unless Sonic unless Snake's able to recover really high, that is. And now it's pretty much back to 50-50. Sonic is currently in the lead, but Snake's gonna go ahead and get that back with a few hits, it seems. No, Sonic um, gets a is getting a grab and uh, really good strings on this uh, Snake. These are not true combos, but he's just reading the Snake and able to get um, good hits on him. Snake has to go high in his recovery to avoid being knocked off stage by Versadile. I would I respect for being scared. And Versadile take goes 2-0 against Snake. One more game and he and um this is already set point for Vers Versadile. JXW really has to step things up if he wants to win this. But that these games are really close so it is possible. Um Versadile makes the swap to Wolf. I didn't even know he was capable of playing Wolf. This is Versadile pulling out the his final trick in the book on game 3 when he's 2-0. Could he have saved this for for grand finals? Probably, but he's just trying to throw off Snake. Probably get an easy win on him. But we don't even know if he plays Wolf, so. But I'm wondering why he waited this long to play Wolf. Maybe because it got to PS2 and he knows that benefits Snake. So yeah, I, I really wanted this to go to game five, but Snake has to definitely put in some work if he wants to do this. Now, can he do it? Definitely, but like he has to put in a lot of work. And one second, my I'm, my throat's starting to hurt because of how much I'm talking. Okay, now that I, got, that I just had a drink of water, um, back to the game. Versadile's currently behind by 10%, but of course, that's not going to make it a break it. Uh, it what's going to make it a break it is a two-stock lead. Anything less than that 
this comeback potential. Snake just going under versus Dial's beam, just flexing that he's able to hurt box shift, and that's hilarious. I, I always love it when people do that when they have the crowd, when they have a crouch like that, or if they're just so tiny they don't get hit. That that's just funny to see. And Snake currently up a few percent, but of course until. He's two stocks up. I'm not gonna say this is looking good for Snake. I'm not gonna commentate his curse this because, yeah, this, these games are really close and they're both really good. But it is looking like a very, uh, both of them are at kill percent actually. Now that I think about it, because Fox Wolf does have a lot of kill moves, unlike Sonic. And maybe that's why he switched. He wants to be able to kill Snake earlier on. Snake gets the C4 on Fox. Fox did not see it in time, and because of that, he dies. And now Snake just needs to build up percent on his Fox, and maybe even get another stock on him if he wants to have a chance of getting into Game 5. Now, can he get to Game 5 if he's killed right now? Of course he can, but he wants to be able to do it quick as possible, so he doesn't have to worry about this. And he's just gonna step on Fox, get, him, get play slow, get, get hits on him, and gotta respect it. Some people would say this is playing lame, in my opinion this is playing how the game is meant to be played, especially competitively. Now if this was casual, yeah I would say they're playing lame, but this is a competitive tournament, keep that in mind. The people that um, do not understand competitive. And money is on the line. Yeah, Snake has got 50% on stock on, on a fox. Snake can possibly kill the fox right now with an insane combo, is he going to go for it? Possibly. I don't see why Snake wouldn't want to go for a nice combo on Fox, because he's already on 150%. God, just needs to get like a nice three-hit combo and kill Fox. So, but is he gonna go for it? Okay, just gonna go for the ledge trap instead. And it almost works, almost killing Fox off stage. And he's just gonna keep going for the ledge trap, but Fox is out of it. Almost kills Snake, Snake does not... Snake DI's out of it though, and just recovers high against the Fox. Kills the Fox with a C4! He's up two stocks. You know what I was saying about how it's not over until there's a two stock lead? Well, Snake now has that two stock lead and he's still not dead. Can he, can he increase this lead? Snake just come, coming out, telling Versatile, no, you, no, 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 you can't have a 3 0. You gotta actually try. No, no, none of this Fox BS. I, I, I know you're just doing this to throw me off. You, you, you gotta, if you wanna beat me, you gotta play your main. Like, just, just show, finally showing up for once. Now, now, JX has been showing up this whole tournament, and then he, like, just slowed down in this match. Was looking like he's finally warmed up ag again after um, not having to play games for a while. Because, remember, the Snake did DQ out of um, Winners Round 1, meaning he's had to play since, lo since Losers... He's had to play in Losers Round 1. Like, that's... How many games is that? One second, let's just count. Um, okay, he's played one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven sets so far. And he needs to win. If he wins this game, he needs to play two more. He does kill the Fox, but he still needs to win the set to go to Grand Finals. Great into Game 4. JXW finally picking up a set on a game on Versadile. Versadile stays Wolf. Can Snake do this again? We'll see in a second. They're probably going to... So, as always, they're probably going to trade hits for quite a bit and then pick things up um, in the final stock or second stock, so don't expect much to come out of this stock, but if it was anything like last game, it could actually be a three stock because of how insane the snake is, so. Snake did not get a three stock last game, I don't think, but it, he could have, which is insane thinking that, that even in win losers finals that there's the possibility of a three stock. Yeah, but trading hits as I projected, not much going on, but Snake is going to be the first one to get the kill percent. I don't think Wolf is at kill percent yet. He has that combo kill percent. But, yeah, Snake's definitely at kill percent now. Now, the Rage does benefit him, um, does slightly benefit him too, though, because that means he, um, he gets to do more knockback to the Wolf and more damage to the Wolf. But Wolf doesn't give him that opportunity. He just immediately kills him with a few, with a few up, with a juggle. And uh, now Snake has a lot of pressure on him. He's two stocks away from being knocked out of a tournament, but he, there is still a possibility he does this. If Snake loses this, he is most likely going to be third place. Well, I mean, if he loses this, 
whether he wins or loses this, he's gonna be third place, so... JXW's made it pretty far, but can he make it further? And same for Versadial. Versadial had a really nice, had a really easy, um, winner's bracket, so... Not much really happened there. But yeah, they're, they're still trading lives and hits pretty much because we're on stock two and it's pretty much even. But that just goes to show how even these guys are on a stage like FB. But Versadal does is starting to get percent racked up on him, so that's that's a bit scary for him. Snake's no longer the one that has the pressure on him, and Snake turned it around for once. And if Snake if Snake wins this game, there will definitely be a lot of pressure on both of them, but mostly Versadal because he does not want to be reverse 3 would But looking at this um, current game, uh, Versadal is already at kill percent. Snake is kill percent too, though, because of rage. So all it takes is a single, um, uh, what's it called? Ledge trap or edge guard, and Versadal gets the up smash instead and kills Snake. Now the pressure's on Snake, but Snake does get it with an easy up kill. And now we're on final stock. This is set point for Versadile. So all Versadile needs to do is win this stock. This oh my stock. Everything's on the line right now for Snake. If Snake wins this, we're going to game five. We don't expect this to be over quick. There's still four minutes in the game timer, and I do not think they're gonna play fast. They're gonna Snake is gonna play slow as he can along with the Fox because they do not want to screw this up. They both just want to have the easiest path they possibly can to winners and I mean to the grand finals, and that would be just playing slow right here. So if they start playing fast, going for stuff, that's going to be much harder and much easier on their opponent. But it's looking like they're still trading hits. Almost identical percent. I just... Like, I'm impressed how close these guys are. Even on Versadile's secondary, which is Fox. He's doing amazing. I thought Versadile was like a, only a Sonic main, but then he goes Fox out of nowhere and it actually... He actually needed it. I would say he needed it, because um, Snake would have definitely learned a Sonic by now. Assuming he picked up last game, or, 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 or first of all, never switched. Which I do think, I think, believe could have happened. But Snake, they're both pretty much kill percent right now, so anything can happen. Snake definitely um, like, easier to kill right now than the Fox, but Snake can definitely bring that back with a combo. Or anything, honestly. Yeah, so it's all the pressure's on Snake right now, but he does still have a chance. It's just, will he get red? Because he... It's a matter of if Roman Versadel can beat his gameplay or not. Because Snake's playing so, so that's, that's what it takes. Oh, but Versadel misses his um, kill move and almost gets killed on ledge trapped because of it. But he gets back to stage and he's one up till the way. Both of them are a single hit away, and Fox dies. We're going to game five! Okay, so we're getting straight into Game 5 of Losers Finals. The winner of this game will go to Grand Finals, and it's looking like they ch it's looking like they chose FD. I thought it was going to be Battlefield for a second, but it's definitely FD unless I'm blind. I'm guessing they agreed on this though, be or whatever, because it still has the same, uh, what's it called? Same blast zone as FD, so I'm assuming that's, they just did this for the memes, and... Versadile's the first one to die! Snake's on 52%! All the pressure's on Versadile right now. He needs to kill Snake soon, or else Snake's gonna... Just... I'm gonna get him to his last stock with three stocks left like he did that other game. But Versadile is Sonic! Now I'm just hoping that there isn't a dispute and that it's meant to be Battlefield or FD, or real FD, and that the Battlefield... Like, I don't think Battlefield FD does have any um, irregularities that FD doesn't already have, so... I don't think there's going to be any disputes unless it was meant to be um, Battlefield. What's looking like this- the Snake's insane right now. He already got Brazil at 85% on- he's still on his third stock too. Max Rage. Is he going to kill Brazil again? He can with an up tilt. Or the last chop. He, he gets the up tilt! He's 3-1 against- uh, what's his name? Sonic Versadile. All the pressure's on Versadile. Versadile finally kills Snake, but he needs to get... He needs to take two stocks on Sonic. He needs to re reverse two stock this if he wants to win. And Snake has the possibility of getting a JV2 or just two stocking the Sonic. What's gonna happen? 
JXW definitely showing up, knowing that he actually has a chance of getting the grand finals and and going and rematch, getting his rematch against Urine. Oh wait, he didn't. Wait, never mind, he didn't play against Urine. That was uh the other dude. Sorry about that. But okay, Sonic did do the impossible. He got Snake to his last stock with only eight percent on his stock, and now they're trading hits. What's happening this game? Yeah, all the pressure's on both of them. They're, these guys are sweating hard right now, and I can guarantee that. I wish I could... I honestly wish I could see their faces during this. Because this game has just been going back and forth, back and forth, and this is the only game that matters in Losers. Like, all, these other, all the other games we've went through in Losers don't matter. This is the only one that does.